What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and, and uh, check out the content. And with that being said, man, I'm going to get right into it. Um, it just it just seems like uh, everybody is, is coming out against um, LeBron James and, and, and the Lakers, mainly LeBron James. I'm not even going to say the Lakers, but mainly LeBron James for like the decisions that the Lakers are making. And, and the la latest person to come out is uh, has been Doc Rivers for the Milwaukee Bucks. <clears throat> and Doc Rivers basically came to the defense of uh, Darvin Ham. And Darvin, as you all know, Darvin Ham was let go by the Lakers so they could bring in J.J. Raddick, right? <clears throat> and so basically Doc Rivers said that he don't, you know, he don't understand how with the, with the amount of success that Darvin Ham had, that the Lakers, uh, you know, how they were, how they really got rid of him and, and bought in JJ Reddick. And so, you know, it, it just occurred to me that like LeBron James, like this year is going to be an interesting year because like I said, he fighting battles on so many different fronts, right? Number one, uh, you know, the high, you know, the uh, drafting of his son, Bronny James, uh, number two, when they hired, um, you know, they hired J.J. Reddick. Then uh, on top of that, you know, like the GOAT conversation. It's just so much, so many distractions surrounded surrounding LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers this year. Um, on top of that, the fact that they were not able to make any changes or, you know what I mean, any or get anybody of any significance to come to the Lakers, I think, um, that got really like put on the back burner too. People really are overlooking that, but that'll come more to the, uh, you know, to the forefront as they get into the season. And, and, you know, if they're not having the type of success that the Lakers want, then, you know, people will say, you know, they'll really be raving and screaming about that. Right. But um, Doc Rivers, you know, he, he pointed out that uh, Darvin Ham was with the Lakers, you know, for a year and a half, uh, he had, you know, he had a fair amount of success. They won, uh, what is it, the midseason tournament. Um, they had a winning record under Darvin Ham. Um, you know, uh, the Lakers tried to make it seem like, you know, like uh, none of the players or anybody didn't, didn't really like Darvin Ham. But um, people have pointed out that with <clears throat> when LeBron James wasn't playing and, uh, you know, like his record, he you know, he had a winning record when LeBron James wasn't playing. So it wasn't that Darvin Ham couldn't relate to the players on the team or the players didn't like him because he was obviously able to get the players to perform, you know, especially when uh when LeBron James and Anthony Davis wasn't available. He was, you know, Darvin Ham was able to get those guys to perform and to play uh team basketball. But for some reason, LeBron James, you know, uh, is not really a big fan of Darvin Ham. I, um, and some say it might be, you know, they they, they wanted to bring uh, somebody in that was more, uh, you know, that was less outspoken. Somebody who was, who wouldn't be, uh, you know, just wouldn't be so willing to stand up against LeBron and, you know, and, and, and go against any of LeBron James wishes. And that's how most people think that uh, J.J. Reddick, you know, was able to to come in and get this job, you know, as a uh, as someone who don't have any experience coaching um, on any level. And as a matter of fact, you know, like when he was a, a player, I, I like J.J. Reddick as a player when he was in the league. Um, and as a matter of fact, J.J. Reddick as a player, had his best years as a player playing under Doc Rivers. Uh, I think they were at they were with the Clippers then, and that's when uh, JJ Redick had his best you know years as a professional. But throughout JJ Redick's broadcasting career, he's been very uh, critical of Doc Rivers, and so now that could be part of the reason too why Doc Rivers, you know, um, felt like it was you know felt like he didn't need to really hold back. Um, any of his comments, you know, concerning the Lakers and how they handled Darvin Ham. And so, you know, Doc Rivers, you know, he, he he was outspoken on it. And like I said, 
the Lakers are going to have so much, so much turmoil surrounding their team this year, man. It's it's really going to be a, uh, you know, it, it's going to be. I'll be surprised if the Lakers will make the playoffs. I'll also be surprised if, um, you know, if they're able to stay focused and play good basketball, even under the best of circumstances, when you have so many different distractions going on, you know, like I said, the fact that they have Bronny James uh, and a lot of people don't feel like he belonged on the team. Uh, the fact that they hired a coach who was uh, inexperienced, who haven't coached on any level. And, um, you know, when he, was a broadcaster. He was very, very critical of players around the league and coaches around the league, mainly coaches. He, he, uh, JJ Reddick really wasn't too, too tough on uh, players. He, he tended to take, actually he tended to take players, uh, you know, to side with the players over coaches and, um, and especially like uh, ownership management and stuff like that. He's, he tend to be the, on a, you know, on the player's side, <laughs> but he didn't really uh he 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 didn't take he didn't hold any punches back when it came to criticizing Doc Rivers. So Doc Rivers um you know just wanted to probably just stand up for Darvin Ham and maybe do some uh some damage control as far as like Darvin Ham's image is concerned, you know, um because Doc Rivers may feel like there's a false narrative that has been put out there about um Darvin Ham and that false narrative could really hurt his career going forward as far as him having the opportunity to get other um, head coaching jobs. But um, this right here, um, you know, these comments with Doc Rivers and and then, you know, I did a video, a video earlier about, uh, uh, you know, how uh, general managers around the league are commenting on, you know, the play of Bronny James. Um you know, and fans are starting to get restless, you know, as we get closer to the start of the NBA season, you know, um, fans, especially Laker fans are, are starting to get restless. And so this season right here, like I, like I've been saying, this season right here is going to be, uh, is going to be a lot of drama surrounding the Lakers this season right here. Um, that's my take on it though. Uh, let me know what you think about, you know, Doc Rivers standing up for Darvin Ham. Do you think, you know, like he was justified, um, or do you think you know that Doc Rivers just should have, uh, you know, just really should focus on his own team? Um, but I think I think it was cool, in my opinion, for him to, like I said, to help do some damage control as far as Darvin Ham's uh, his his image, you know, and probably correct some of the uh, false narratives that have been put out there about Darvin Ham. And so, yeah, that's that's my take on it. Let me know what you think about uh, Doc Rivers standing up for Darvin Ham. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I will check you out on the next video. Peace.